Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Uh, today we're going to be working on the drag boat a little bit. Actually, not really working on it. I'm just going to talk about setup boards. Okay, I had to make a setup board today because I was uh, tacking my transom on the boat here just for uh, for reference while I built it. And I really didn't feel comfortable tacking the transom on without my setup board. So I figured I'd make a video for you guys. It'd be quick. Uh, I really didn't have anything planned today. I got wrapped up building this boat, working on this boat, and kind of time kind of slipped by me. So um, yeah, stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. Well, Big B, Big B, what is a what is a setup board? Um, a setup board is exactly what it says it freaking is. It, it's a board that you set your boat up on. Okay, uh, a lot of guys call it a jig or a building board, setup board. It's all basically the same thing. Uh, in this video, I actually re referred to the building board as a setup board. So when I say setup board i'm talking about building board jig setup board it, it's all basically the same thing it okay my boat's small so i i use a small setup board you know um a lot of guys actually use mdf mdf for their setup boards and uh that's actually a perfect material because it's flat. You know what I mean? I used a piece of common 2x8 that I trimmed the sides up so that my tunnel my tunnel fits right right in there. Okay, uh, It's actually going to help when you glue everything up to keep your stringers straight. Okay, So there's no like dips and do's. It also is going to help uh, keep the bottom flat. Keep your boat square so it's not twisted you know uh you want a nice nice build platform okay now you can actually uh make the back of it wider depending on what kind of boat hole you have you know like i said i, I just kind of went basic and i didn't cut mine to fit in the tunnel tight okay the reason i did that i left it one sixteenth of an inch short so i can actually put these sticks in there okay on each side if i'm setting this side up i can put these sticks in there make sure my stringers are straight up and down because i cut a 90 a 90 on the sides you know what i'm saying so i can then i can do this side right here make sure they're straight up and down when i go to glue everything up nothing's glued actually i did tack this up that's the whole reason i made my my setup board so i can set my boat flat and tack my transom on because the way i have it cut and it wouldn't stay on so it was driving me nuts and i wanted to see the full length of my boat so i can actually set everything up um a setup board is actually really nice you know so when you're building your boat you know you can um you don't have to worry about it twisting or sitting on the table and flipping and flopping you know when you're working on it it actually gives you a good idea of where your sponsons are going to be sitting in the water, you know, uh, compared to the tunnel of your boat. You know, you can see and measure your ride angles this way. You know, you can cut you a block of wood to, uh, to, to set on both sides so you can gauge where your ride surface will be, okay? Um also with your setup board it's nice to have when you're planning out your center of gravity on your boat you can use your setup board to uh to kind of set up pre-set up and uh get you know a rough estimate of where everything's going to be sitting in the boat you know uh where you're going to put your motors where you're going to put your escs and batteries you know what i'm saying how you're going to arrange everything in the boat so your boat's not like falling apart while you're building it, you know. Because, uh, you know, nine times out of ten when you're building a boat, you don't glue your bulkheads together right away. You know, you, you actually uh, get out everything cut, put together, and basically uh, look at your boat while you're building it, you know. Um, and, you you know, like I won't, I won't glue my bulkheads together for a while, you know, because... You know, I'm, I'm going to be taking my bulkheads apart so I can add 
crawl supports and everything and it's really it's really it's really a must-have when you're building pickle forks round noses uh rigger rigger builders use it to make sure the tubs square to you know to actually set the boom tubes and everything so um you know when you're when you're well i guess designing your setup board like i said i'm using a ba bla blank one like a basic one I don't know if I mentioned this because this is like my second tape. You want to make sure it's it's there's no twist in it. Get you a straight edge, maybe even make you up a winding stick, and make sure everything's square. No dips and do's. It's got to be flat, dead nuts flat. Um, like this, like this one right here. She's won't actually cut my notch a little bit too deep. Okay, so uh, without a setup board, I wouldn't know that. You know what I mean? Out here in the shop, I wanted to show you guys how I got my board flat. Um, this was my first board. I was trying to get a, it was a little twist on one side. I couldn't freak, freaking get it out. Hence all the freaking shavings. <laughs> so I started over on a new piece of wood, but I used a number five planer and a number six planer, like a, like a finishing planer. Okay. Uh, just basically on the one in the house, I basically just knocked the top off. Okay. I set my iron really, really shallow, barely, barely skimming the surface of the wood and just made sure it was flat okay i did most of my working down with the number five and then i took this number six to true it up 100 percent you know uh and um I, I just wanted to show you guys this mdf you don't need to use a planer well actually i don't even think you can use a freaking uh planer on <laughs> mdf but if you're using just a piece of lumber like i am this is the best way to get it true. If you're good with an iron, if you're good with a, a, a planer, you could true it up in, in a matter of minutes. <laughs> in my case, an hour. <laughs> but so yeah, a building board, setup board, jig, you know, it's detrimental to any hydroplane owner or builder. You know, setting turn fin heights, strut heights, levels, uh, you know, getting keeping the boat straight, you know, setting AOAs. It's it's a must. You've got to have it. And something so simple, it's a freaking piece of wood, <laughs> can be so helpful in so many ways. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Told you guys it would be a Short video. We'll see you next time. Big B with Accolade RC.